in a while, and we just praise God for you all being here. I am excited. Of course, this is our first night. We had a little kitchen, but how many of you know God is still God? Amen. Amen. We're going to go ahead and get started with our opening prayer. Before I pray, do we have any young people that want to open us up in prayer? Not everybody raise their hand at one time. Do I need to call somebody? Who is that? Faith? Come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And then after we have our prayer, we're going to have our pledge to the Christian flag, pledge to the Bible, and um, pledge of allegiance. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Father, you're Father, we come here today at BBS um, Bible Study, and we want to thank you for waking us up this morning, for getting us through the day, and for allowing us to be here today. We want to thank you for all the nice things you have done for us yes, over the years. Lord, yes, we want to thank you for all the nice things you will do for us in the future. Yes, Lord. We all pray that we have a nice future in our, in our way. And we all pray that we make it home safe tonight. That's we all right. pray that we wake up in the morning. Yes, we yes. thank you for doing everything else that you have yes, in your life for Thank you, us. Lord. Amen. Amen. We need our um, Pledge of Allegiance, Christian flag, and the Bible. You can come up now. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One brotherhood uniting all mankind in service and love. All right. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's gospel word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And my eyes learn in my heart that I might not sin against God. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello everyone, so once again I would like to welcome you all to our BBS. We're going to have an awesome time. Yeah. We're just thanking the Lord and because we may have started off a little late this evening, we're going to play our first track and we're going to head to our classes so we can get into this word. Are we ready everyone? Come on. Yeah. We've already done our pledges, our prayer. We're going to go to our classes and we're going to have our lesson around 625 to 645-ish. We're going to do arts and crafts, but that may be different for our teens. That's according to their teacher. Uh, 645 to 7, we're going to have some outside activities. And then 705 to 730, we're going to have our closing review and our song. But right now, we're going to ask Pastor Brenda to please punch the music for us and we're going to hear it. We're calling the teachers for the two and four year olds. If you have a two and four year old, they need to head towards the front. We are asking Sister Peggy and Sister Belinda to head on out to the nursery. Thank you. Woo! Wait. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And we have a special 19 year old. He knows who he is. Your teacher tonight is Sister Liz. And Sister Ann. Yeah. Yes. And y'all would be here. That's my class. That's my class. Yeah. Now the most special class. <laughs> the special class. I said special. Yes. Special. Yes. The more seasoned class. Come on, Mike. That's your class right there. Come on. We will stay right here in the sanctuary. to him if 
he gives us a perfect sacrifice, his son. Making a way where there was no way. Jesus Christ said that he's the way, the truth, and the life. Lord. Amen. Glory, glory. glory. We're waiting on all our classes to come in. Let's see who I'm going to uh, draft. Sister Dorothy. Amen. If you would come and stand on that side over there, by that sign right there. Pastor Zandrich, you want that last one back there by that pew? Uh, Christian, you can stand on that third one. The orange sign over there. Against the wall over there to your... Uh, she got the orange Yeah, she got the orange one. Sister Dorothy got the blue one. Uh, Sister Leslie can have that teal color one. Right there on the wall. Stand over there, Sister Leslie. she told And Sister Peg. <laughs> Sister Angela. You can uh, get that yellow one back there. That by that yellow. Oh, it's right there, Sister Dorothy, that blue sign right there. That first one. Praise the Lord. Y'all give yourselves a hand clap of praise. Amen. Because we know that today is Juneteenth, but we celebrate God every day. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, she's oh, right there. Oh, Lord, that's their teeth. Sister Peggy, would you go and find them, please? <laughs> Redemption, mm. the forgiveness of our sins. 
The character in the story is Jesus, Simon Peter, Andrew, James, and John. All right. Good. So those are the people in the in in the story that we learned. Tristan, tell one thing you learned. One thing you learned. Come on, Tristan, you got a fisherman. They were what? They were fishermen. All right. All right. You tell the two. You tell the um. Tell the two things that Jesus told uh, Simon Peter and Andrew to do. You got follow. Follow him. Follow him. Right, what, else did he right. have to tell him to, what else did he tell him to do with his nets? Put it in the water. All right. All right. Yeah. So, Ariana, did I say it right? After <clears throat> Peter and Andrew had put their nets out, what happened to the nets? The nets started tearing because they caught so the net started to tear because they caught a lot of fish. What did Peter and Andrew do because the net was tearing? Uh, they, um, they um, asked their partners to help. And who were their partners? James and John. Who was the father of James and John? Sandy. Sandy. D. Zebby, <laughs> All right. Uh, one more last question. Remember before we left our class, everybody had to find a word, and you put your words together, and it said something? So let's see if everybody can say what that word was they had to put together. Jesus is holy, and that changes everything. Very good. Jesus is holy and that changes everything. One more question. What was the twist and turn in the story? What? When they got a lot of fish. Say it again. When they followed God's rules, they got fish. Okay, when they followed God's rules, they got fish. Why? Because the night before, they had been fishing for how long? All night. All night. And what did they catch? Zero. They caught nothing. All right. Give my class a hand. I just want you to know, Sister Catherine, that them little people behind me, they were saying, you copied they list. <laughs> Them three right there. That's all I said. I just want you to know. I didn't say, but them three right there. Ooh, they copied all of them. That's what they said. I didn't mind some things. You know that's Y'all got to be careful with them. Okay, Sister Leslie. Let's give Sister Leslie a uh, that I showed at the beginning of the lesson. I showed a Rose Rage video. Oh, okay. And the reason why is because we do twists and turns. Yes. yes. And one of the scriptures that um, was brought out is that you have to pursue peace with all men yes. 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 that you may see the kingdom of God. And we yes. talked about how the world is no longer pursuing peace. Amen. But we have to be different and pursue peace and godliness. Yeah. So I'm going to let them kind of talk about some of the important parts that they uh, got from the lesson. And I'm just going to pass the mic and you wish to speak, you can speak, okay? Not just pass the mic. Amen. Introduce yourself. Who you are? Um, I'm Tiana Butler and I'm, uh, I'm their uh, grandchild. <laughs> And we learned about, um, 
we learned about how people get into an argument because they want them, like, they catch an argument because they want, they don't get the things that they want mm -hmm. all the time. And we learned that don't, like, don't make a situation bigger than it already is. All right now. All right. All right. All right. Erin Butler, um, her sister, and Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Butler's granddaughter. Yeah. Um, today we learned how, and we're not copying y'all's story, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we're not copying y'all's story, but we did learn the same thing. <laughs> well, it was a scenario that y'all probably haven't seen, but it was about a truck driving road race, as she said. And well, the truck driver gets mad, and you know, because people are ignorant, so well, yeah. say the truth. The truck driver drives on, passes the car, and end up crashing because the car that was in front of him didn't want to get out the way or whatever. So, seeing though, seeing as though the lesson matched with the scenario, it's basically telling us that. Peace is the key to everything in life. Right. So if we have peace, then we have anything else that we're supposed to have. Therefore, don't take out your anger on other people, because then it's going to come and bite you right in the behind. Right. <laughs> it's a thing called karma. <laughs> and I am sister of Alana's granddaughter. And um, what I got from my lesson is what holiness means. Holiness means complete, divine, separate. All right. So with all of these characteristics, we understand what holiness is and how it's used in life and how does it make, how does, what does holiness mean, what does holiness mean to us in life? and how that applies to life itself. Hello, my name is MJ and I am actually uh, Pastor Brenda and Pastor Bob's grandson. All right, all right. So what I learned from today is you always have to pursue peace, even though other people won't try to pursue peace. Amen. 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 Uh, Amen. And also, you have to. Also, you have to find holiness. You also have to find holiness to to find a way to heaven. That's right. Pastor Bob and Brenda's second grandchild. And today we learned on um, the pathway of a Christian and to remain holy and to have peace with the world. Yeah. Hey, my name is James Burden. I'm the son of Leslie Burden and Miss Johnny Burden. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And from what we learned today is that we don't let our emotions get the best of us because we can end up crashing and, you know, <laughs> and we always try to seek the right path, follow God's word, and pray every day, ask for his repentance, and, and be persistent. My grandmother is right there, and um, my auntie is Miss Catherine. Um, today in our lesson, I learned about if you turn your life over to God, He could change your destination if you go the wrong way. I am still 
Faja. I'm the aunt of Cynthia Cotton. All right, yeah. What I learned is don't let your um, emotions take over your like physical being. Because right. one day you end up somewhere where you don't want to be at. I don't even need no introduction, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm Prince Davis. I'm the nephew of sisters and they, grandson of both Cassius Andrew and brother Charlie. What we learned about, I mean, basically it's like the same thing, you know, holiness, car driving, bro rage, you know, all that. But like, it's like an important lesson. Like, don't be getting mad at someone, because you know, it's gonna cost some like. You know how the truck crashed. It was like over two million dollars. So you don't want to do that. Unless you want to pay that dude. So don't do that. But like, if you're gonna try, just leave it alone at the point because you don't want to pay that amount of money. Trust me, I don't either. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's all about holy, like sacred. You know, peace. You gotta make peace with everybody. You can't be mad at everything. Unless you want to pay that. Unless you want to pay over two million dollars for the truck because you don't. Know, Sister Christy, oh. uh, today we learned uh, about holiness and how you can change yourself to become a better you and to uh, follow God's path to make Amen. Dylan Armstrong, um, it's my sister, and it's my mom in the back. And, um, <laughs> so today we learned about, um, so like, so basically you have to be mindful of others because you don't know what they're going through. Because, so like, it, for instance, the video for the truck crash. That person might not have insurance or anything because all because you want to be ignorant and won't move over. And... My name is Tatiana, a friend of Sister Christian's family, and today I learned to never question God's word like the fisherman did. Amen. My name is Michael John Scott. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. You learned about Peter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. Hallelujah. Ooh, I said I wasn't no crying. <laughs> but let's give him a hand clap, y'all. Yeah. They could have been anywhere else, but they came to me. And it just moved my heart because they all retain something. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they can apply those principles of the word to their life. Yes. Let's give our teachers yes. a hand clap. Yes. Okay. But I want to ask our pastors if they have anything they want to say before we close. Y'all, let's give our pastors a hand clap. Amen. They teach us the word. Sometimes you get your corn stepped on. Pastor Brother, them call y'all out. We didn't get one for them adult class. Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that cheers? The adults was trying to slide on out of here without their review. Turn around and look at them. Come on, sister Eli. Come on, sister. Sister Mandy. Y'all look at the adults. Y'all stand up and Ain't all y'all run at one time. Y'all, children, y'all give y'all seasoned ones a hand. All right. I enjoyed my Bible study tonight, uh, vacation Bible study. 
uh, Pastor Bob said something that touched my heart. And um, we, came, we came from John, the third chapter and the third verse, where he says, unless the person be born again, he cannot turn into the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And also about being with someone that's not equally yoked. Mm -hmm. And that really touched me because I kept wondering why things keep kept going to the left and not to the right. So if you're in Christ and the other person is not in Christ, it's not going to work. That's right. It really is not going to work. That's right. And I enjoyed the testimonies of we all know what God can do. Amen. I'm going to tell you my testimony. I retired in 2018. But God is so good. Uh, I'm back working, teaching school, drawing two paychecks. And the first thing I do when I get paid, I give God my 10%. I didn't get there overnight. And God just blessed me every time I look around. And I don't know the sisters that say it about giving. And I just give. I just give. God just laid on my heart just to give. And it doesn't have bother me to give because God has blessed me and he wants me to bless them. And I truly have enjoyed and I will be back tomorrow night. Amen. All right. Turn it off. Robert. <laughs> I want you all to give yourselves a hand clap of praise. This has been an awesome first day of Vacation Bible School. You know, you never know how many people are going to come. You just do what you're supposed to do in the event that they come. And I believe this has been a wonderful turnout. I've been impressed by all of the classes. Everyone who came up had something to say about what they learned. And that says a lot about our spirit-filled teachers back there. Amen. 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 So we're very pleased at the way things are going, and we know it's going to get even better. Second, third, fourth, and the last day of this Vacation Bible School. Yeah, we had a, a beautiful send-off. Amen? Amen. We started on the right foot. I didn't know I was supposed to preach tonight, but I preached it. <laughs> Amen. You gotta have your, your reservoir full. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so you at any given time I got we got the Panthers in there that know that. Amen. Amen. They called Peggy the preacher. She got up there and preached Amen. like she was all ready. <laughs> Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. La Sheila, Zandra. Amen. Amen. They do they design it. Yeah. And I give God praise for them. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> But, like my wife said, we started out real good tonight. Amen. Amen. And, and I'm hoping and praying that it'll get more. We'll Amen. get more. Some other children will see those signs out there and maybe join us. Amen. 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 Holy and blessed Father, Lord, we humbly come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for the word that went forth today in all the classes, Lord. Yes. That every single one of us departed from here with something from you, yes, from your throne room. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, Lord. We ask you for traveling grace for each and every single one of us until we come back to you again tomorrow, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Oh, <laughs> Spiritual Harvest Ministries, building the spirit man for Christ one person at a time.